Hello, good evening everyone. So the big news about COVID-19 has been regarding the masking mandate as it uh, pertains to flights and trains in the US. There was uh, a court ruling that came out yesterday, I believe. So I thought this evening, why not enter the search terms masking mandates? And although the results are not filtered by geography, they are presented as by date, mostly chronological, but sometimes they put it in uh, accord with relevance than just uh, time. As you can see, this one came out four hours ago, the other one came out seven hours ago, but the one that came out 11 minutes ago in Fox News, that one is beneath the top two results. So, however, Bing, Microsoft arranges it. So, Philadelphia restaurant owner warns new mask mandates will bring city's economic engine to a stop. And uh, some news from India, of course. Why not take a look at the headlines? I have already opened uh, three new sources as they relate to the U.S., but uh, surely there's time to look at the headlines as it relates to India. So the first one from the Indian Express, mask mandates or awareness drives. Experts weigh in amid fourth wave fears. Fourth wave scare, the cities make wearing of mask mandatory amid COVID-19 surge in Delhi. Delhi is where I am. Uh, other one I already read about, Philadelphia. COVID situation stable in Orish, Orisha, Odisha. Mass mandate yet to be lifted. Optic in COVID cases, NCR districts in Haryana, UP bring back mask mandates. Cheers, fear as judge strikes down US transit mask mandate. Pilots announce mask mandate has been dropped mid flight in US angering passengers. So, you know, you, you really get a flavor of reactions, not by reading the news, but when you see the interactions and the feedback on social networking and uh, Twitter being primarily the one where I interact. Now, uh, it doesn't mean I have to respond to what people are saying, but when I take the time, I do observe the conversations that are going on. Well, why not take a look at uh, these news items? So this is News 18, judge appointed during Trump era, strikes down Biden administration's mass mandate for travel. This came out 11 hours ago. And yes, I'm aware, a federal judge in Florida struck down the national mask mandate covering airlines and other public transportation Monday. And the Biden administration said the rule would not be enforced while federal agencies decide how to respond to the judge's order. Let's get some details further down. The ruling appeared to free operators to make their own decisions about mass requirements, with several airlines announcing they would drop mandates, but New York City's public transit system planning to keep one in place. Now, why didn't they do it like this from the very start? These are organizations that operate flights. I'm sure there's no shortage of uh, people who are capable of doing research and taking decisions. There was no need for the government to ever step into the realm of what corporations decide. Of course, there would be some laws that could be brought up and said, well, this is the law that allows the state or federal government to say something about it. That is another matter. But uh, just for the procedure and day-to-day uh, -day functioning, it should have been left up to the airlines. 
The Association of Flight Attendants, the nation's largest union of cabin crews, has recently taken a neutral position in the mass rule because its members are divided about the issue. On Monday, the union's president appealed for calm on planes and in airports. The last thing we need for workers on the front lines or passengers traveling today is confusion and chaos, union leader Sarah Nelson said. Nelson said it takes airlines 24 to 48 hours to put new procedures in place and tell employees about them. She said passengers should check with airlines for updates about travel requirements. That's one thing you can admire about uh, private corporations, private businesses, is that they're quick to adjust. And... Um, they have the motivation to adjust. So now we get to know the name of the judge. The decision by U.S. District Judge Catherine Kimball Mizell, or Mizell in Tampa. An appointee of former President Donald Trump also said the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention failed to justify its decision and did not follow proper rulemaking procedures that left it fatally flawed. The CDC came out with a lot of explanation. And I think with the document or the few documents that I looked at, uh, their language was always guidance, advisory, recommendation. Where it comes to the point of mandates is always interesting because a decision has to be made. And uh, had it been left to the corporations and the governments had not, state or federal had not stepped in, I believe the situation would have been uh, different. Anyhow, I haven't seen the ruling. It says in her 59-page ruling, Mazel said the only remedy was to vacate the rule entirely across the country because it would be impossible to end it for the limited group of people who objected in the lawsuit. The judge said a limited remedy would be no remedy at all, and courts have full authority to make a decision such as this, even if the CDC's goals in fighting the virus are laudable. Earlier in the day, I was having a conversation on Twitter, and uh, I commented Maybe I can bring that up. So if I enter Twitter and all of these results are from me, Twitter SK Data, I will show you what that was all about. This was uh, earlier in the day, a conversation. Yeah, something that Mehdi Hassan had said about a million fellow citizens being dead and something about masks. So my response to him was this. He said to those of you in this on this health site who have spent the past year complaining more about having to wear masks than the deaths of a million of your fellow citizens, know that if history doesn't judge you, then one day your conscience may. And uh, this is the response I left, and I got into a few conversations afterwards. There are real-world scientific reasons that go against rules for public masking. One of those reasons is actual human behavior. It's wrong to equate masking in surgical settings to prolonged general masking in the open. It's even counterproductive. Now, uh, I got into a conversation Mr. Barry Barnes had something uh, to say, and uh, I referred him to one of the videos I'd made earlier, the effect of mandates on the general public, and it goes over masking and vaccine mandates, but uh, the point about masking mandates in particular is covered in that video, and if you would like to, please do go through that video on my channel and you'll get to know more about what I think based on research. Some other news I think pretty much would be similar. 
Uh, this is a recent news. Confusion as US's trains and planes mass mandate overturned. So why the confusion? Because one day you have the rule, the next day you don't. People are confused. Uh, it says due to expire on April, 18 April 2022, it was extended again until 3 May by the US Centers for Disease Control and Prevention to give more time to study the BA.2 Omicron coronavirus variant. But on Monday, U.S. District Judge Catherine Kimball Mazel in Tampa, Florida, ruled that the mandate exceeded the CDC's authority and that it didn't, and that it hadn't justified the order while failing to follow rulemaking procedures. I made that point in the other video also, and I'll say it again, that Science doesn't have mandates. Politics has mandates. And mandating anything is a political move. And a lot of people and a lot of resistance comes about when in the minds of people things are not clear and they see that the government, federal or state, or a government agency like the CDC is pushing with decisiveness and certainty for a rule to be implemented. They use their own minds and think, well, how is a mask going to stop the spread of the virus, of this pathogen? People have their different levels of understanding. But uh, you see, this is what happens. When the mandate is given, in the minds of many people, it's as if the government is saying, this is a sure way of preventing the spread of the coronavirus. It is not. Masking is one layer of protection. It is a protection. But it's not something that should have been mandated. The motivation, the reasons for the mandate have hardly anything to do with science. The more it has been understood, especially in relation to the studies that have been done in real life observation of how people behave. In many cases, it has been found that masking is actually counterproductive. Why that is, I explained it in the other video that I've already made. This has been studied quite well. This is the last news. I'll leave the link for this. I am not interested in uh, going through the whole thing, but well, the headline is interesting. Pilots announced mass mandate has been dropped mid-flight in the U.S., angering passengers. Well, not everybody was angered. Some were relieved and happy. So, uh, different reactions. But more and more, we have moved towards kinds of societies where individual independent thinking consistently takes a back seat and there is group thinking and government control and depending on one's political affiliations and political persuasions uh, groups are formed tribes are formed and even over what should be insignificant matters people are very rigidly divided. And again and again, what it comes back to is more towards politics and government intervention and the shift away from common sense, from individual thinking. I'll just make this point, this is the last thing I'd like to say, is that science has its limitations. Science also has its uh, accomplishments. I do not expect someone who adheres solely to common sense to develop the kind of technology on which the current vaccines are based on, especially the mRNA vaccines. It takes, it has taken decades of work to make this technology practical. 
It was already used not in terms of transmissible diseases, but in cancer treatment, it was already used. But uh, with the development in uh, lipid nanoparticles and in mRNA technology, we have come to a point where this technology today is at a point where we can say this is amazing what has been done. It's a preparation for the future. But on the other hand, a subject like masking, it's become more and more clear that the government is intent on creating a division and enforcing measures of control for which masks are a visible symbol. They have disregarded the inconvenience to a lot of the people. And a lot of narrative goes around for and against mandates. But uh, it was not a temporary measure. It has lasted for more than two years now. So uh, what would it leave in the minds of observers? Not even saying those who are in favor or against, simply those who are observers. What would they conclude from all these things that are going on? This is what I'd like to say in the end. This is where I'm going to end the video. I'll upload this to YouTube and uh, if you have any comments, any responses, I'd like to hear from you. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your company. This was a consideration of the news about masking mandates. Thank you and goodbye.